Who was named the number one mutant on Marvel's top 50 greatest X-Men of all time countdown? Stick around for the answer at the end of the show. Hello, Marvelites. I'm Lorraine Sink, and you are watching The Watcher. I've got a huge comic book debut, movie news, TV reveals, and more. Excelsior. Happy anniversary, mutants. We're celebrating 50 years of X-Men this fall, and we kicked off the festivities with X-Men Battle of the Atom. No spoilers, but if you haven't read the 10-part crossover event yet, hurry up. Some huge changes have come to the Marvel U, particularly for Kitty Pride and Peter and... You just you gotta read it. And now the X Celebration is about to explode with an exciting new book hitting next Wednesday, November 13th. Commemorate the golden anniversary of the X-Men with X-Men Gold number one. You guys, this book is epic. Not only does it include an all new feature length never before told in continuity X-Men story by the legendary Chris Claremont and Bob McCloud, this book also features all new stories from top X talent and for the first time in years, we get an all new X-Men story from Stan Lee alongside Louise and Walt Simonson. Be sure to get in your pre-orders now as this is one not to be missed. Guys, there is so much exciting Marvel Cinematic and television news, I can barely stand it. This week, we got our very first trailer for Marvel's Captain America, The Winter Soldier, including a wintry soldier in action, Falcon flight, and well, let's just take a quick look. Your work has been a gift to mankind. You've shaped the century. And I need you to do it one more time. What do you think of the new trailer? Tell me what you think down below. But of course, the thing that everybody is talking about, Marvel's Thor The Dark World is in theaters this Friday. And fans who see the film in 3D will also get an extended sneak peek at Captain America The Winter Soldier. You guys better tweet me all about the movie. Seriously, if you Marvel fans don't explode my Twitter at midnight on Friday, I'm gonna go banana balls. And also, if you don't get that reference, you should watch the new Thor clip linked at the end of the show, as well as the complete Captain America trailer. Do you guys think that we could get banana balls trending? I'm just asking for myself. In TV next week on Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., get ready to see two new yet familiar faces. Victoria Hand, who's maybe best known to you comic fans from Brian Michael Bendis' run on New Avengers, is joining the cast of characters on Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., played by Saffron Burroughs. We'll also see the return of S.H.I.E.L.D. agent Jasper Sitwell from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Both characters come to Tuesday's episode, The Hub. Dangerous secrets are being kept from Coulson's team as he works the system to save Ward and Finn when they're sent on a level eight classified mission that may end in tragedy. Be sure to check it out this Tuesday and tell me what you think of these two new characters joining the cast down below. And now it's time for a new segment I call No Prize, where you comic book geniuses share your brilliant Marvel knowledge to win a prize, which is really no prize other than that good feeling that you get to feel inside. Those of you who are watching Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. know that there is many an homage to Marvel's storied past in many an episode. Tell me your favorite Easter eggs, Marvel Comics callouts, and literary allusions from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D down in the comment section, and your comment might be watched right here on The Watcher, which is the real prize, isn't it? And if you guessed that that mutant named number one on the 50 Greatest X-Men Countdown on Marvel.com was Kitty Pride, hey, you were right. To quote pal and Marvel.com writer Brett White, Kitty Pride's maturation from wide-eyed teenager to that of a leading voice in the mutant rights movement forms the backbone to over three decades of X-Men stories. Her continued popularity and central role to so many classic tales speaks to why she tops this list of the greatest X-Men of all time. Who's your number one X-Man? Tell me down below. And I'll see you guys next time, True Believers. I'm Lorraine Sink for Marvel, your universe. Marvel, your universe. Do you guys think that we could get banana balls trending? Just asking for myself. <laughs>